Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 18 iPhone settings that you should change on your iOS 13 device. Now you can change these settings to get a better performance, better battery life, better security and also better privacy on your iPhone on iOS 13. Now a lot of these settings are specific to iOS 13 and you won't be able to find them on older devices but a lot of them are also settings that you will be able to find on ios 12 devices and older as well so let's get started here are 18 settings that you should turn off on your iphone on ios 13. the first setting i suggest you should turn off is found under the phone settings so open the settings app go to phone and right here we'll find silence unknown colors now this is a new feature on ios 13 and it's good in some ways but it's also bad in other ways now what this does if enabled is that it will block unknown colors so numbers that are not on your contact list when they call you you won't get like a ring you won't get a call they will be sent automatically to the voicemail they will show on the recents list but they you won't get like the call screen when they call you now disabling this feature is the best i think because you might get a call that it's very important but it's not on your contacts list now very often we get like calls from people or like institutions and we don't have their numbers on our contacts list but that would be very important to us so you don't want to miss on those calls so better keep this off better get some robocalls here and there than miss out on very important calls so go ahead and disable silence unknown callers Another new feature on iOS 13 is of course voice control and I've done a video on this feature. It is really, really amazing that if you need to use this, this will be very cool. But if you don't need this, make sure you turn it off. So go ahead, go to settings, go to the new accessibility section and from here we'll find voice control and make sure you turn that off. Keeping it on will decrease the battery and performance of your device. Now all the time it is working in the background, waiting for your command of course that will have an impact on performance and battery as well but if you just decide to leave this on then go ahead and scroll down here and you will find two more options which I suggest you should turn off if you keep voice if you keep voice control on first one is attention aware make sure to turn this off and keep it off all the time now what this does is that when with voice control you can say wake up for it to activate and go to sleep for it to deactivate if you leave this on then it will just basically track your face using the face id camera and turn it on or send it to sleep based on your aware so when you're looking at your phone it will be turned on it will be turned off when you're not looking at your phone that's pretty cool but of course that will consume a ton of battery on your iphone so make sure you turn that off and also turn off improved voice control so what this does is help apple improve voice control features by sharing your activity and samples of your voice so that of course will also consume battery on your iphone sharing data with apple always does that so make sure you turn that off as well the next setting i suggest you should turn off on your iphone and it is really really important for your privacy is found under the face id and passcode options so just scroll down here and you will find allow access when locked and you will find all of these enabled right here make sure you go ahead and disable notification sender so leaving this on will allow someone to look at your notifications you might have there a message that has a preview on it and someone might read your messages or anything if you leave this on so even when with the device locked they will have access to the notification center but if you leave that off just like that you will see right here when i go to, to the lock screen i cannot go ahead and open the notification center at all without unlocking the device another setting i suggest you should turn off is found under the same section face id and passcode you go right here and you will see right there an option for usb accessories and what you need to do is turn this off so when you leave this on it will allow usb accessories to connect to your iphone when your iphone has been locked but if you go ahead and leave that off then you will need to unlock your iphone in order to allow usb accessories to connect to your iphone so that's really really good very good idea to do that go ahead and turn off that setting the next setting i suggest you should turn off is found under notifications so basically on all notifications what i suggest you do is go ahead and hide the preview so 
disable previews. You might have previews enabled for any of your apps when always or when unlocked. Go ahead and choose always default the default one never so if you have them enabled make sure you disable them that's very huge for your privacy you don't want you to have your phone leaning on a table or something and then message comes in or a notification from your social media sites or something like that and someone will be able to read your messages so don't do that make sure you turn on the default feature of notifications never show previews the next setting you should turn off is found under display and brightness and it is right here rise to wake so what this does is that it will wake the screen of your iphone automatically once you raise it from the table or you get it out of your pocket that's a very cool feature to have but of course that consumes battery as it's always tracking the movement of the iphone in order to wake up the display that of course consumes battery so i suggest you go ahead and turn that off you can do that by going to settings and go to the display and brightness section and right here we'll find rise to wake make sure make sure you turn that off real annoying when playing games or using an app is the pop-up that will ask you to rate or to to leave a review on an app or on a game you can disable that by going to settings go to itunes and app store and right here we'll find in app ratings and reviews make sure you turn that switch off in order to not get those pop-ups when you're using your apps or your games and the next settings are found under the privacy section and here we have quite a lot of settings that you should turn off in order to protect your privacy iphone performance as well as battery life so go to privacy and then go to location services and scroll down here and you will find right here system services go right here and first of all you need to turn off significant locations now what this will do is that it keeps track of all the locations that you visit frequently and you will find a list all right there so you don't want that to happen you might basically sell your iphone to someone or something you don't want someone to take a look at your location that will of course compromise your privacy you don't want anyone to know where you've been where you go regularly so you go ahead and go right here so let me just unlock this so once you go here you go ahead and just disable significant locations now you will have your places right here if you had this enabled which you would by default if you have this enabled you will have a lot of places right here that you frequently visit and you can go ahead and clear them from here and then make sure you disable it so clear them first the ones that are already here and then go ahead and disable that setting and we have new options right here that you will have to disable like we have here the system services that will use the location of your device that of course will just consume a ton of battery these are probably stuff that you don't even need like compass calibration you can go ahead and turn that off you can also go ahead and turn off location-based alerts as well as location-based apple ads and also location-based suggestions these are four settings that you can go ahead and turn off right here in order to basically preserve battery life on your device so you don't need all these to go ahead and track your location which by default they all are enabled so go ahead and turn them off another thing i suggest you should turn off is location services for apps so you probably leave location services on for most of the apps probably you don't even need location services for most of your apps so go ahead and just choose never for the apps that you don't need to use location services what that does is of course just consume battery and also decrease performance on your device so make sure you do it go ahead and set never to all the apps which you don't need to track your location or you can go ahead and choose the new ios 13 feature which is ask next time so what that does is that every time the application wants to use your location it will ask you whether it should or should not use your location and that's the best way to go you will get notified all the time when an application is requiring to use your location something i always suggest you guys should turn off on your iphone whether that's ios 13 ios 12 or even ios 10 whatever device you have is background app refresh that can be found under general and then go to background app refresh and you will find right here background app refresh at the top you will have wi-fi and cellular data 
That of course is a big no-no, leaving a background app refresh on your cellular data that should not be an option. Go ahead and turn that off. If you don't want to turn background app refresh off for all the apps, make sure you choose Wi-Fi. And then when you go back, you will have here a list of all the apps you have installed on your device. And you can basically choose for which apps you want to leave it on and for which apps you don't want to leave it on. So go ahead and turn it off for all the apps that you know that you don't need to have background app refresh on and make sure you go ahead and turn it off. It's as simple as switching these off. The next setting you should turn off is found under privacy and then go ahead, scroll down and you will find right here analytics. If you go right here, you will find share iPhone and watch analytics. That's of course sharing analytics with Apple. But of course, as your iPhone is basically tracking everything and sharing it with Apple, it will go ahead and consume battery on your iPhone. So you don't want your iPhone to consume a ton of battery with stuff that you don't even need or you don't use and you don't really care about. So go ahead and turn off share iPhone and watch analytics with Apple directly from here. The same thing is done with iCloud analytics as well. Under the same page, you will find another setting which you should turn off. It is called share iCloud analytics and basically it does the same thing. To improve like Apple products and services, it will share your analytics, the data of your iPhone with Apple and that of course will consume a ton of battery. Go ahead and turn that off directly from the analytics section under the privacy settings. So that is it for this video guys. These are 18 iPhone settings that you should turn off on your iOS 13 device. Now, as I said at the beginning, most of these can be found on other devices as well on older iOS versions. There are a few that are specific to iOS 13, but a lot can be found on other devices as well. So you can go ahead and turn off these settings in order to get a better performance, better battery life, as well as better security and privacy on your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 13 videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.